Okay, so in this video, we're going to work out the solution to creating a DFA that accepts the following language L, where L is the set of all strings of the alphabet AB, such that um, these strings have an even number of A's and an odd number of B's. Okay, so as usual, the first thing I like to do when I create a DFA for some language is I want to know how this language behaves. So what are some uh, strings in this, uh, this language? So I need an even number of A's. So let's say A, A, and then an odd number of B's. So then let's say B. So this would be accepted, right? Because the number of A's is two and the number of B's is one. Okay, good. Um, what happens if I add a B, right? Well, let's, let's add a string. So if I add a B, then that's no longer good, right? Because uh, it seems like I've switched the parity, right? The parity being, so parity being if it's even or if it's odd. Like this concept or this idea of whether a number is even or odd, that's what I mean by parity. So, the parity of the Bs has switched from odd to even. And so that's no longer good, right? Because what I require is an odd number of Bs. And so this is the most important thing here is that it's an and, right? An even number of A's, right? So it has to be both conditions must be satisfied for the string to belong to the language. The same thing happens if um, the parity of the Bs stays the same but the parity of the A's changes, right? So if the parity of the A's changes from even to odd, then that's also no good, right? Because I, what I care about is this intersection, right? Okay, so there seems to be this idea again um, that I, I talked about in a previous video about accepting a language where I have just like an even number of, of ones or an odd number of ones. There seems to be this idea that um, my states are going to have to play a role. And the role that they're going to have to play is tracking both the parity of the A's and the B's. So the states will need to track the parity of both the A's and the B's. A's and the B's. Well, what are my possible uh, combinations of parodies, right? So um, I have the, the parody of A and I have the parody of B, right? So what are the possible combinations? Well, the parody of A could be even and the parody of B could be even. Uh, the parody of A could be odd and then the parody of B could be even. The parody of A could be even, but then the parity of B could be odd, and then both parities could be odd, right? So there appears to be four um, different possibilities, right? Four possibilities for pairs of parities, for pairs of parities, okay? So this, this, kind, of, this kind of implies because I'm using this idea of states in code rows, this implies the idea that I'll have four states in my DFA, okay? And so all that's really left to do is kind of create these states and then link the transitions. So let's go to a new page. So I'll just remind us that, so I have parity A and then parity B, I'm just going to use the first letter to, to denote them. So even, even, let's say odd, odd, even, odd, or sorry, let's not go that way. Let's go even, odd, and odd, odd, okay? So let's just encode that uh, in terms of states. So I have even, even, I have, uh, let's say odd, even, uh, even, odd, and odd, odd. Oops, odd, odd. Okay, so first of all, what's the start state? 
the start state, essentially what you have to ask yourself here is, where would my machine start? What state encodes the start of the computation of my machine? Well, remember when my machine begins its computation, right? It hasn't read anything. So if my machine hasn't read anything, then at this point, the number of A's that it's, that it's read is zero, and the number of B's that it's read is also zero. So in both cases, I have even numbers of A's and B's, meaning that this state, this state should be my start state, right? Because at the beginning of any computation for any string, my machine is going to start in the state that encodes even number of, of A's and even number of B's because it's read zero A's and zero B's, which are both even numbers, right? Now what can happen, right? What can happen is I can either read an A, so let me not do that there. What can happen is either I read an A or I read a B. So if I read an A, right, that means that my number of Bs hasn't changed, it's still zero. But now I have to switch from an even number of A's to an odd number of A's. And that's this state here, right? So then I'm going to go from even even to odd even if I read an A, right? What happens if I read another A, right? If I read another A in a row, then I switch back from having an odd number of A's and an even number of B's to an even number of A's and an even number of B's, right? What about the, the other way around, right? What if I started with B? If I'd started with B, then my A's, the number of A's would have stayed the same, right? They would have stayed even, but uh, the parity of my number of B's would have flipped from even to odd, right? And so that's this transition here. I go from even, even to even odd. And then similarly for the, the A's, if I read another B, then the parity of my B's switches, switches back. So I go back to the same state. Now what happens if I mix up the A's and the B's, right? So suppose in this example here, um, I read another A, so I went back to odd number of A's and even number of B's, but now I read a B, right? Well, I can't go back, I can't go to here, right? Because this is for an even number of A's, but now I have an odd number of A's and I've just switched from an even number of B's to an odd number of B's. Well, that's this state here. That's this state here. And so um, if I read an, a B and I have an even number of B's and an odd number of A's, then I go to this state. And then similarly, if I read another B, then I switch back from having an odd number of B's and an odd number of A's to an even number of B's and an odd number of A's. Okay, and so I think you're, you, you kind of see where this is going in terms of the final transitions. They're going to be uh, in this area here, in this kind of dimension. Um, and they're going to be about when you have an odd number of Bs, but you go from having an even number of As to an odd number of As. Well, the, that transition is going to be with As, of course. And then to switch back, it would be with As. So that's how you would write up the uh, transitions. What about the final state? Right. Well, the final state, um, what do I care about here? I care about an even number of A's and an odd number of B's. So even number of A's and odd number of B's, that's this state here. It's EO, right? And so it's EO here, the same. So this is the state I care about. Right? So this would be my final state. And so just, just for good measure, um, let's test this out on um, a string we expect to reject and a string we expect to accept. So I know that I'd like to accept A, B, A, but I would reject A, B, B, right? Because this has even number of A's, odd number of B's, but this has 
odd number of A's, even number of B's. So let's start with this guy. So I start at this state. Now I read an A, so I read an A, so I go here. Then I read a B, I read a B, so I go here. Then I read an A, so from here I go to here, and I end in a final state. And so that's good. What about ABB? Well, ABB, again, I'm going to start here. Then I'm going to read an A, so I'm going to go here. Then I'm going to read a B, so I'm going to go here. But now I'm going to read another B, so I'm going to go from this state back to this state. And because this state is not an accept state, I'm going to reject it. So then this, state's, this state gets accepted, this state, or sorry, this string gets accepted, and this string gets rejected. And so this would be the final solution um, for a machine M, such that the language accepted by M is the one in the question. And that's, that's essentially a, 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 a worked out solution for this exercise.